we have already practiced creating a dynamic data masking policy to protect sensitive data at a column level. Additionally, we have learned how to enable conditional masking in Snowflake and mask data based on values in other columns. The approach we have followed so far is effective for applying policies to a handful of columns. However, what if we need to apply these policies to hundreds of columns? The current approach is not very scalable or maintainable. To achieve scalability and maintainability, Snowflake offers another feature called tag-based dynamic data masking. In this video, we will go deeper into tag-based masking, covering its limitations and technical interview questions that may arise during your job search. Make sure to stay tuned until the end to gain a comprehensive understanding of column level security using tags. In the part one of this playlist, we created a customer table and we associated three different policies with the PII columns. This masking policy was based roles and as the role changes, the data will be masked or data will not be masked. So when I go to this data tab and I am using the system admin rule, I am able to see all the information from the customer table. When I change my role from system admin to public, let's see what happens. Based on the role, my data is masked and government ID is not visible or to the end user. The part two of the video had shown how to create a conditional data masking. There, we created a table called global customer and let me click on this columns field. Here, we created a masking policy called PII conditional masking policy and the masking is done based on the another field called region. If the region is Europe, the data will be masked and if the region is non-Europe, the data will not be masked. So if I click on to the data preview, if a user belongs to European region, the data is masked as shown here on this screen. So this was the conditional masking. Now we are going to work on tag based dynamic data masking and I will demonstrate how you can really achieve it through the tagging policies. Welcome to my channel Data Engineering Simplified. For all my demonstration, I will be utilizing the free trial edition of Snowflake on AWS. Make sure to adjust the video quality to 4K since all my recordings are in that resolution. To speed up your learning process, consider increasing the playback speed to 1.25x or 1.5x. For direct communication, feel free to message me on my Instagram account or join my exclusive Facebook group. If you are interested in systematically enhancing your Snowflake skill, check out my premium Udemy courses. This is my first worksheet called Tax and Masking Policy. My role is system admin and I'm using compute virtual warehouse, which are default option. This is my demo database and my schema. As a first step, I'm going to create a tag object and this is how the SQL syntax looks like. Create or replace tag, tag name, followed by comment, that simple. So my PII policy tag created successfully. Now I can run show tags command. And here you can see my tag result and this tag belongs to demo database and my schema. So this is a schema level object. I'm going to create a customer table named tag underscore customer just to differentiate from our previous use cases. And here it has total 13 column as we have done in the last chapter. Now, if you look into the government ID, credit card number, mobile number and address could be classified as a sensitive information and I want to tag them as a PII value. So for each of this column, I have to specify with tag name of the tag equals to the value for the tag. So the tag name is PII policy tag, which I can copy and I can say PII. I can associate this tag with my card number as well as with my mobile number and finally address. Now let me quickly create this table and go back to the database menu and show how does it look like. So my tag underscore customer created successfully. If I go to the databases and here this is my demo DB, my schema, tables, tag customer. Let me shrink this and if I come to the columns, so under this tag, all the tags are visible. This is called PII policy tag and value is PII. Now I can click on a load data and I can directly load data from this screen. And then we will start 
working on the masking policy. So before that, let me show how the data looks like. So this is my customer underscore tag underscore data dot CSV. And the first line is the header line. And I have total 1000 rows in this CSV file. So let's quickly load this data. So this is my customer tag data CSV file. I'm skipping the first line and field optionally enclosed is double quote. And here I say on error continue and click on load button. My data got loaded successfully. And I can see this is how the data looks like. It is only having the tagging right now. It does not have a masking. Let me go back to my worksheet. So I am going to create a masking policy called mask underscore PII underscore text underscore data, which text I input parameter as a string and it is returning a fixed mask value. So let me create this masking policy. And if you do not know how does it work, I would request you to go and watch my previous two videos. So now I have created a masking policy and tag. My next job is to associate the masking policy with the tag. So wherever this tag is used in a table object, it will automatically mask those data set. And this is how my alter statement looks like, where I say alter tag, name of the tag set masking policy equals to, and this is masking policy name. Okay, so let me run and execute this. Since I am using system admin role, this alter statement will not be executed and it will end up with insufficient privilege user. For that, I have to change my role to account admin. So let me change my role to account admin. And now this is account admin. Let me re execute this alter statement. Now it has been executed successfully, and wherever I have this tag associated, the masking policy will be applied automatically. Let me go back to the database field. And if I click on a data preview, let me shrink this. So now I see all the column having this tag associated with them automatically got this masking policy. This is how by attaching a tag in your column level, you would be able to attach the policy without really attaching the policy with individual columns. And that is the power of the tag. If I go to the column tab, let's see how does it look like. So Snowflake has automatically attached the masking policy because this masking policy is attached with the tag. And this is how your table home screen would look like. And from here, you would be able to identify all the masking policy associated with the tag. And eventually it is attached with your column. There is another option where you can go and check that. If you go to the monitoring, there is a sub menu called governance. And here, right now, nothing is visible. However, if you come after some time, this data will be refreshed and all the tags and masking policy will be listed because here, if you look into this option, it says tax and policies, tax only, policies only, no tax and no policies. So you can come back to this after some time and it will show all the detail. Let me show you the other screen where I have this data available. So this is how this screen would look like with a different color coding. And it says that total number of coverage is 164 column and so on. And if you scroll down, this is how the number of tags will be visible. Now, if I hover here, you can see that I can associate multiple tags with a single column. What if I have multiple tags associated with a single column and each tag has its own masking policy, how Snowflake will behave in that case? Let's try that scenario. Now, before we try that different scenario, let's try to drop this tag and let's see what happens. This ended with an error saying that the PII policy tag cannot be dropped or replaced as it is associated with one or more policies. What does it mean? It means you have to run this unset command to unset the policy from the tag and then only you can drop the tag. Let's simulate this multiple tags to a single column. What happens? So if you are not to the system admin role, please change your role to the system admin. And I'm creating another tag called finance policy tag. So my tag is created successfully. Let's click on show tags. I have PII policy tag and finance policy tag looks good. Now I'm going to create another table called tag customer 02. And if you look into line number 73, I have policy tag with value PII and finance policy tag with value card and they are separated by comma. Okay. So this is how my table DDL looks like. 
and let me first create this table my table got created i can go and check how the table looks like so here is my tag customer 02 and if i go to columns so for credit card i am getting another option called plus one because i have a two tags associated with this data set when i hover on this it says finance policy tag equals to card and pii policy tag equals to pii looks good when i come to the data preview i do not have any data set available so i can click on a load data and i am going to load the same csv file this got loaded I can see my data is already masked because the table is created with a tag and tag is already associated with your masking policy. Looks good. Going back to my worksheet. Now I am creating another masking policy called tag card masking policy and it is again returning a fixed masked string. So this masking policy is created. I can check. So I have PII mask and card masking policy. Now, to associate the masking policy with my tag, I have to change my role to account admin. It is done. And now I am associating my finance policy tag with tag card masking policy. So Snowflake allows me to add the policy with the tag. That's not a problem. But now let's go back to the database and see how the result looks like. When I click on a data preview, it ended with an error. It says credit card number is mapped to multiple masking policy by tag please contact your local administrator to fix the issues and if i go to the column here it shows policy error it means you cannot associate two tags and each tag having a policy and if that happens it ends with an error so this is how you can leverage the tag to associate masking policy and ensure that all the columns across different table can be masked without putting too much of effort I hope you got something valuable from this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Your support not only recognizes the work behind this free content, but also helps other to discover this playlist. And if you think it can help someone else in your team, feel free to share. Thanks for watching and let's spread the knowledge and growth together.